I was impressed with that move you pulled. Bang. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it's me, it's G, it's Double MD, the undefeated, undisputed YouTube champion. That's right, it's the Maverick, Mark Daniels, here with episode 72, our finale of our Pokemon Legends RCS Let's Play. And guys, if you missed last episode, we went in and uh, got our Spirit Tome, we turned in all the Wisps, and then we did a little bit of like Pokedex stuff, and we did some quests that we um, had to like kind of go out of our way to get. Uh, we still have one more to go. We're going to do that today. It's that uh, Silcoon one that we tried to do uh, last episode that we couldn't figure out. Uh, but as you can see here, I just finished up the Pokedex literally just minutes ago. Leventon. I, I decided to start recording at this point right here. Though in a way you could almost call this a Canon. Oh, because that's our name. Canon Dex. And of course, you had your directive, didn't you? I recall the message you received when you first fell down to this land. Seek out all Pokemon, was it not? It seems you finally achieved that goal. So where must you go now? Mount Corn at the Temple of Sano. You'll find nowhere else in all of Fasui uh, closer to the heavens. You're practically among the stars up there, and if one with the very universe, all creation. What will happen there, I wonder? My scientific curiosity is positively roiling. But well, this isn't my tale of adventure, it's yours. This for you and you alone to go and find out. So, of course, we had the mission from Arceus. Um, well, I'll go to the Temple of Sano minus to give the Pokedex a jolly a thorough read through. Yeah, read through. English. Uh, so now we can encounter Arceus. I don't know if it's just like a straight up, I will join your team or if we have to battle him. I have no idea. But you get to see a little bit of the progress I did here. So I've basically been working all day. Um, the last episode I recorded was earlier today. Uh, pretty much been working all day on this Pokedex. There's a couple Pokemon we were missing that were kind of annoying. Uh, Magnemite, which you had to get from a space-time uh, distortion field, which was kind of random and annoying. Uh, it took me a while to get that one. Uh, Cherubi was a bit of an issue. Uh, we finally got another Cherubi uh, because we had evolved one to a Cherum. And I assumed I could find more Cherubis, and I've... Cherubi was the last one I finished, actually. Uh, Bastiodon and Rampardos. I had to find Cranidos and Shieldon. And a space-time uh, disruption field as well, which took a little while. Um, I believe in the Highlands it was. As you can see, I have both. I have actually got two Cranidos in that one run, which was nice. I'm training these up to level them up uh, to get their research to perfect. We'll hold off on bring because I don't know if we have the battle arts, so I'm going to bring a couple extra Pokemon. Also, in between episodes, I caught Shiny Lickitung. So that was pretty exciting. Um, but yeah, let me grab, let me see, where did I put our, did I put them on the same page as, no I didn't, okay, let me, let's grab our Luxray, Kakashi, I don't know which page he's in, we have several um, Luxrays of course, it's not that one. Not that one. Not that one. It's going to be the last one, isn't it? Actually, it is. <laughs> going to be the last one. It always works out that way, right? Alright, we got Kakashi. And let's grab Itachi, our Crobat, as well. Kind of uh, been staples throughout our entire adventure here. So it seems appropriate to bring him with us. Plus, as I mentioned, we kind of want some stronger Pokemon with us as far as levels go. Just in case... We have to go up against Arceus in a battle. Also got some uh, some perfect uh, completions in the Pokedex. I did Piplup today and Chimchar and Stantler. So they're all good to go. Increasing our shiny chance. Oh, by the way, I guess I didn't mention this either. Not only is our Pokedex done, by the way, guys. Research level, I have all of them at level 10 or higher. So that means we can get our shiny charm today too. I don't know what we can get first. I don't know if we get the shiny charm. I don't know if we need to do the Ars like level Arceus to level ten first before the shiny charm. No idea. Either way, we're gonna do it. Alright, so open up the doors here. Alright, so this should be the Wurmple mission. Wurmple's evolved, yeah. Uh Beer Regard from the Security Corp seems to be in a pickle of over his Wurmple's evolution. Okay, so we're going to look into it. 
He's right outside the door. This is the one that we couldn't figure out last episode. I haven't evolved another Wurmple. Literally, it just randomly popped up. <laughs> when I was in town, I was like, oh, great, now it pops up. I thought we tried to trigger it last episode. Hopefully, it's a quick mission. Professor Leventon seems to think that little Bugene here is a Cascoon, but her hello, it's clearly a Silcoon. It's clearly a Cascoon. It even says his name, Cascoon. You're making some kind of Pokedex or something to give the professor, right? Then you gotta help me. Please go catch a wild Silcoon so I can prove it's the same species as Bugene here. Alright, so actually, can we just talk to him? Alright, because we could probably look in our box, right? Which is pretty handy. Um, we can't search. Which is uh, unfortunate, but this will be a little bit faster. There we go. There's a Silcoon right there. Perfect, though. Ha, huh, just as I thought, they're exactly the same, bro. <laughs> There's clearly different shades of color, my friend. Hmm, now that you mention, I guess they're not exactly two peas in a pod. I just never would have thought two Pokemon this similar would actually be different species. Pokemon are really are curious creatures, huh? Yeah, unfortunately, you got the worst one, too. Dustox is ugly as fuck. Beautifly? Lovely Pokemon. Beauty, my buddy, I didn't know the first thing about you, did I? I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings. I'm sure you're still happy to have a goof like me for a partner. Cass. Is he going to evolve again? Bugene, you lovable rascal. You really are the only partner for me. This dynamic duo will stay together. Oh, that's, that's kind. I like it. Uh, so that should be the last side request, side mission, what do you want to call it, that needs to be done. Um, so literally all that's left is the Arceus mission. Shiny Charm. Can we get the Shiny Charm now? I'm going to check for science purposes. I think if we talk to... I'm assuming Silene gives us the shiny charm, but I'm not actually sure about that. Or maybe it's Professor Leviton. Alright, so she doesn't give it to you unless you need Arceus for it. Can we talk to the Professor? Sure. Nothing. Okay, so I don't... I'm gonna look up real fast where to get the shiny charm. Just in case it's someone else, because I want to see if you can get it without having to do the Arceus. Not that it matters. I would assume getting Arceus level 10 uh, research will be really easy. Uh, let's see. Where to get Shiny Charm Pokemon Legends Arceus. How do you get the Shiny Charm? You get the Shiny Charm Pokemon Legends Arceus by visiting Professor Leventon in the Galaxy Hall, but only by completing the Hisui Pokedex research uh, level 10 of all its 242 Pokemon. Okay. So our Pokedex... Okay, so we have to have Arceus. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Perfectly fine. So let's go get Arceus. That's going to be our task right now. How are we on supplies? Should I bring some healing supplies? I mean, I have some, some healing supplies on me. My items are kind of a mess right now. Ooh. Kind of want that side there, guys. We got a little bit of time. I don't know how long the Arceus bit's going to take, but I'm willing to go like 45 minutes tonight anyways. If it takes that long, I don't think it would. I say we do the side there outbreak real quick. If you would indulge me, guys. I really would like to get a, a shiny side there so we can get a shiny uh, Cleavor. That would be quite enjoyable. Honestly, I haven't done too many um, outbreaks today. I did that Lick of Tongue one. I did a couple other. I think I did a Finneon one. Um, I've basically just been really just focused on uh, trying to get the Pokedex done. So I've been having to sit around and wait for time-space distortions to pop up. And they could take quite a while. I mean, I think every 10 minutes it is, it like re-rolls. The opportunity to spawn one is not guaranteed. I'm not sure the percentage is to spawn one. But it did, it did take quite, uh, quite a while, so I just kind of sat there, uh, you know, edited some videos or whatever, or I, uh, you know, eat dinner while it's just going, whatever, right? Like, whatever I could do to kill time in between. Uh, maybe catch some Pokemon, just don't enter battles with them, because I think, I could be wrong on this, and again, this is, I'm talking about this two months in, in, you know, in the past, essentially, so you guys probably know all the information there is to know about this game at this point. But for me, uh, if, I, if I know correctly, um, entering battles pauses the, uh, 
the reroll of the space time. So you don't want to sit in battles a lot. Okay, so none of these are shiny, but that's fine. We're going to catch them. I'm not even sure if I need to catch Scythers right now, but, uh... Alright, Dickhead, you want to fight? Son of a biscuit. Wasn't quite ready for this. <laughs> I think we have to knock him out with Ghost-type moves for Bronze Zone's Pokedex, so we'll just... We'll just let our good friend Knuckles here do some work. One last time in this video series. Now, I'm not going to be done playing this game. I am addicted to this game. Let's see how many hours I'm at now. I think... I don't remember how many hours we were, we were at the... Uh, the video that I recorded earlier today. I think we were like 114. So that kind of exposes me a little bit. Now, granted, a lot of it was AFK because I was sitting away for uh, space-time distortions to pop up when I wasn't really doing much of anything else. But still. I've been playing the shit out of this game, guys. So anyways, I am going to perfect the entire Pokedex. That is a guarantee. Now, the thing is, I don't know if by the time this video goes live, if I'll have that done beforehand or not. If I do... I'll probably put it at the end of the video. I just won't edit this video yet. Um, until, like, I have to, like, until, like, it has to go up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so I might even do, like, progress. Like, an update on the on the Pokedex in general. Or you might see the whole thing just completely done. Um, but I'm excited to do that. We got some decent progress on that already. It's the last side they're standing. What levels are these Scythers? I might just have uh, Vulpix or Growlithe beat it up real quick. I have to defeat him in battle with Rock-type moves. Does Quillfish have a Rock-type move? Ah, screw it. We'll just use Growlithe. I don't even know what level the Scyther is. I should have checked. 64. Uh, I'm sorry, Growlithe. That may have done you a, a high disservice here, my friend. He's got a rock move. I don't remember if he needs agile or not. Or if he needs strong style. I should have done strong style because I probably would have KO'd. That's fine. I, I, I really should have. I always sword danced anyways. Okay. We'll do a strong style. I mean, probably didn't have to do the strong style. That's fine. So obviously it's not going to do too much for Growlithe in terms of his research level. But for Scyther, that's going to help us a little bit there, so that's perfectly fine. Alright, so we didn't get the shiny Scyther. would have been epic if we did. I mean, we've been getting a lot of shinies, so it would have been cool to end the uh, the series off with a shiny. Alright, so... We have to go to the stone portal. Let's grab this satchel on the way. But yeah, I'm kind of cherry picking a little bit of some of these Pokemon for the uh, perfect um, research levels. At first, I was doing an order, like chronological order, but then I kind of changed my strategies ever so slightly to Pokemon that I really want. And I think I'm gonna start working on Alphas pretty hard because, excuse me, once I get that shiny charm, and you know we're gonna be looking for, I'm gonna be doing all these other tasks and. Shiny hunting with the uh, outbreaks and everything. I can also lap around and try to find alphas. And if I get them at perfect level while having the shiny charm, I mean, my odds are going to be a lot better, right? For uh, alphas. So I might start focusing on alphas pretty soon. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the Hisuian, like, uh, regional Pokemon. Because clearly the the, the new uh, Pokemon. So the, honestly, probably the ones I want the most. As I'm sure most people felt the same way. Uh, it's like Basculin and things like that. Um... Then I'm going to work on the alphas. Grab these iron chunks. I'm going to take a swig of water. I'm going to save once we get a little bit closer. That's probably close just to be safe because I don't know if it's going to enter a cutscene. I don't think it does. I think we have to investigate. The thing up here. We do. So I'll save one more time. Alright, so we're going to play the flute.
Oh, there's stairs. That's pretty cool. We're gonna run them up, run up them like uh, Rocky. Da, 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 da. Don't wanna get copyrighted. Imagine. <laughs> I don't. I don't think we're gonna get copyrighted. That was obviously a joke. Anyway, we're on top of this uh, stadium-looking platform. I think we might have to actually fight Arceus. It looks pretty cool, though. Now, apparently there's rumors for like DLC of this game coming out at some point. Obviously if that happens I'll I'll make a separate playlist for Oh, there's Arceus. And uh we'll be playing uh that on the channel as well, obviously. If that ever comes around. Arc phone's going off. glowing and he wants to battle okay oh that's probably the thing we have to throw at him right whatever's glowing in our hand so it's gonna be one of those kind of battles I probably should have brought some better Pokemon for this like a fighting type maybe like Lucario or Machamp or something yes yeah, so we have the mysterious bomb Oh crap, these are going to be tough. Wow. Shoot, we're dead. <laughs> this is actually kind of tough. This actually might take us a while to do. That hit me, come on man. Alright, we're one shot. We're one shot. And we haven't even got through one fourth. Okay. We just gotta get this pattern down and we'll be fine. Damn, he throws a lot of shit. It would have been cool if Arceus had a different form in this game. But I guess it makes sense that he that he doesn't, right? Especially because they'd have to make a sprite form with all the different plates, too. <laughs> Not that it would take it like a ton of work, but maybe it's a little unnecessary. Alright, so he's doing this thing again. Alright, come on, I rolled, bro. Okay. I think you have to be just a little patient here. Damn it. Took my eyes at the prize for a second. It'd be nice if we could hit himself with that. Damn it. Well, we're making progress at least. Fuck. I gotta stop just spamming. I roll too soon. Okay, we're gonna get this. It's gonna it's gonna take us a few tries, um, but we will get this. Restart the battle. Come on, baby. Maybe my game didn't crash. <laughs> there we go. Doing this first. And there's a chance that he might have like additional, f not additional phases, but like as different attacks as we go through this. Right. You can only get like one attack in. I gotta stop going for like two and being greedy. 
I did it too early. Alright, we're doing worse than we did last time, so that's not good. Alright, we're literally a one shot again. I did it too early. Gosh, okay. That was much worse than last time. That's unfortunate. Alright, let's try this again. It's all about getting the mechanics down. It's all about uh, learning when to dodge, right? We got this. We got this. This is the run. I can feel it. I wanted to at least let's get him at least a half this run, okay? Let's make some progress, damn it. All right. I was doing this bit first. Shit. Not great. I missed. Lovely. I roll too early. Fuck, I thought he was done. He did one more. Damn it. I almost did that a little too early. Shit, I thought that was it. I thought it was going to the next move. Maybe I was wrong. Damn it. I also didn't expect him to do that off the rip again. Shit. This is different. I don't know what this is, but I don't like it. I don't know what he's doing, but I do not like this at all. Okay. We'll bring Typhlosion in. Knuckles. I don't know if he's what level he is. He's level 75. Okay, that's not terrible. I don't know if he's using Calm Mind. Great. Alright, we're going to go for an Agile Flamethrower. I want to test the waters a little bit. See how much damage this does after a calm mind. Not a lot. So I definitely don't want to overheat yet. Alright, we get him to about half. Can we burn? No burn. Great. Extra sensory. Does a lot of damage. I probably should have brought some better Pokemon for this. That's alright. I can't agile. Is not going to be good enough? I'm going... I'm going... Ah, uh, just trying to do a strong style. I thought I clicked it one too many times. It wouldn't have KO'd anyways. Extra sensory. It's yep, that's that's it for him. That's unfortunate. And the stats go back to normal. Great. Alright, let's bring out Kakashi. We should be okay. I have some revives and stuff too, right? And I can sack some Pokemon off if I need to. And we probably will need to. A wall charge should be enough. Alright, now we gotta throw some bombs here. Try to get him down another fourth of a bar here would be nice. Don't think it's gonna happen though. Alright, so he's over here. This is a different attack. I don't like it. That was close. Got him halfway down, so we, we met my quota. Ah, oh, shit. I wasn't, I didn't know what he was doing. Oh god, I rolled again, I was scared. We're one shot. I don't know how I dodged that. I shouldn't have been able to dodge it, to be honest. I couldn't even see it. I couldn't even see it. Fuck, I was not expecting that. I don't know how I was able to dodge that. Shit. 
did it too early. That's all right. That was that was a good run. All things considered, considering how bad the uh, start was, that was a solid run. We're making progress, man. We're making progress. All right, we got this. We got this. Damn it, man. This is a tough one. There's a lot of moving parts. I do like these little battles, though, and I kind of hope they keep these moving forward. Maybe not the bomb thing, but, like, like just even battling legendaries with your Pokemon. Like, how you had to catch, like, Tornadus and stuff. I really liked that. Just, like, an extra dynamic and made the uh, legendary battles seem a little epic. Maybe something that legendary battles have kind of missed for a little while, in my opinion. They don't seem as epic anymore because we've had so many. That makes sense. Maybe some would disagree with that, but... Five. He fires off six, okay. Shit. I, I got locked into throwing those bombs again, because I realized how little damage we've done. Oh my god, I rolled. Are you kidding me, bro? I was in mid-roll when that hit me. Oh, fuck. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting the... Little orange be uh, beams or whatever. Interesting. Where the fuck did he go? I don't like this. What the fuck was that? One, two, three, four, fuck. <laughs> what the fuck was that portal shit? What the hell? He's busting out new moves and we were in like halfway through? Man, this is tough. Here, I thought this was going to be an easy peasy episode and we were just going to move on, but... I might be here for a while. It does take a little while to uh, load, though, which is unfortunate since we're getting destroyed here. One, two, three, four, five. I miscounted because of the one that hit me. Damn it. I really gotta be more prepared for that part. I need to figure out how many he does of this too. I don't know if it's a set amount or not, but I assume it is. It comes so quick. So she said. I was ready this time around. Not ready for that one because I was spamming bomb and I shouldn't have been doing that. I did that a little early. I'm surprised it let me get away with that. Fuck, I thought he was going to go down. I rolled too early and I knew I did. Fuck. We're regressing. We're not getting better. Damn it. Okay, let's try this again. Whew, okay.
I was trying to do something a little different there. I was trying to roll when I saw the, the uh, lasers, like, vision of them, and it was a terrible move. Right on the kneecap. Fuck! I didn't count him, I thought that was it. Alright. That was a bad one. <laughs> I started off right because I was putting some gum in because my mouth is really dry. Do this again. We got this. This is a tough fight, man. I know I said that already, but it really is. As it should be. I'm done YouTube acting. We got this in the bag, baby. here he shatters the dimension and then okay Ooh. we actually got to see it this time last time I didn't see it happen I just got hit What the fuck is this? I don't like this at all. What the fuck do I have to do here? I don't like this. Can I hit the clone? I don't know what the fuck is going on here. I don't like it though. Oh, he's doing a charge thing. We're dead. Sucks because we had such a good start. We haven't got to battle him yet either. What the fuck? What the hell happened to us battling him? We got him to half. Okay. My goodness. He does a lot. We had a great start. Him blowing up. I don't know if, that, if, if like we were supposed to go to him and start hitting him. All I saw was a bunch of clones in the, fly, in the f floor lighting up and I panicked. I didn't know what to do. We'll keep an eye on it. We'll keep an eye on it. What? I was in the range of that? Obviously I was. I wasn't paying attention, I guess. Oh, that, that, was, that was it. What? I got scammed a little bit there. Okay, we're falling back into our old trap here. Let's wake up a little bit here. What better than that? F 
fuck, I rolled, come on. Bullcrap. This shit again. What a dodge, baby. Fuck, not we didn't dodge that though. I know where the fuck he was at. Okay, this thing again. Oh, we got him halfway. Shit, I rolled too early. Damn it. I knew I rolled too early there too. Damn it. That first dodging of like too early really threw off my entire rhythm. Alright, we're getting to about halfway now. Fairly I don't want to say fairly consistent. It's happened a couple times in a row, but it's progress. We have, we've only had one chance to battle him so far though, which is weird. I don't know if I'm throwing too many bombs at him and I give him a chance to enter that mode or what. It's kind of annoying though. What? Why was there two on the ground? What the hell? Okay, I can't. I wish you could just like restart, cause like bad start. Am I crazy? Were there two on the ground? Two of those orange circles on the ground? Doing a chance throwing it. Almost did though. Last time he did that, he went to the purple floor thing. And I thought that's what he was going to jump into, and I need to stop assuming he's doing a phase that he's not doing. This is the phase I was talking about, the purple ground thing. I thought he was going to do that. So that's why I started rolling early, and I shouldn't have done that. Oh, this thing. Okay, so this is the one that we couldn't figure out last time. I'm assuming he's have to hit his clones and hope that we hit the right one. What just happened? Why did we get hit? Oh shit. Okay, we can actually go into battle. We're halfway through. Alright. I guess use Calm Mind first again. That's annoying. Alright. Alright, just like the last time, we'll do an agile flamethrower to kind of test the waters. Hopefully, get a burn. No burn, no dice. I can't afford to go strong style flamethrower here, although I'd like to. Still no burn, goes for extra sensory. Double extra sensory. I'm just gonna go for that big heat. Who knows, maybe we'll get a crit or something. I saw that he just calm mine right off the rip. If he didn't, that'd be a little bit a little bit easier. Alright, takes us down again, lowers the stats back to normal, we're going to bring in Kakashi, hit him with a wild charge, alright, so we're back, hit him with some bombs, Fuck! 
Why did I do that? I really messed up there, guys. I started spamming bombs that I shouldn't have. That could cost us big time. Oh man, we barely dodged that. That hit his ankle, lovely. I was scared to keep throwing. No, 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 I threw, I threw. Oh, technically and literally. And figuratively. Damn it. Okay. We got this, though. We were like one or two away. Oh, I'm so sad. Ah. Damn it. I choked. We got this, baby. We got this. I'm so sad we didn't get it. See, there was two again that time. There was two there again that time. What the hell? I don't know if that's a glitch or if that's supposed to happen. But it screws me up when it does, because I'm not expecting it. Wasn't a very good dodge there. Okay, it's this one again. this move again. I actually don't mind this one. This one's kind of easy to dodge. This one's probably my least favorite. Or the Shadow Clone Jutsu one. It's kind of annoying. Speaking of Shadow Clone Jutsu, here we are. Okay, that's a that has actually a clone. Clone? Oh, we're fucked. Oh, we're fine. Thank God. Okay. Use this calm mind. Not trying to jinx us, but we're doing pretty good. Alright, we need agile. Wait a minute. Agile didn't put us with the second move that time around, really? That's kind of a bummer. What about this time? No. Because we do another flamethrower. Extra sensory. Double extra sensory? Really, man. I did an agile move and I still didn't. That's crazy. We kind of got screwed over there. Well, Kakashi, come in, my friend. I don't want to do a strong style. I don't know if it would be enough. It may have been, but it would have been close. Transform into a ground type. Interesting. Judgment? That sucks. He's my KO. Whew. We're taking some heavy duty damage, brother. That really sucks too, because ground resists poison. Well. We can just go for a normal air cutter here. We got him. Okay. 
Time to chuck these bombs, baby. Oh, no. Didn't roll in time. Getting a little sloppy. I rolled too early and I knew I didn't want to hit it. Fuck! I thought that was the last one! I'm getting really sloppy, guys. I'm sorry. No, I dodged! I thought he was going to do another one. Fuck me. We got him. We don't got him yet. Oh, maybe we do. Fuck! Did we get him? Or did he get us? Fuck! I panicked. I was like, oh, he's just going to stand there. And then I realized there was something underneath his feet and I couldn't roll in time. Damn it. I jinxed myself by saying not to jinx myself. I really choked at the end there again. This is tough. This is tough. Gotta give it to him. This one's tough. Oh my god, I totally spaced out there for a second. I thought that was the last one. I'm doing so terrible. I'm 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 tilted boys, I'm tilted. I did it too early. I keep going too early. Story of my life. Ha! Ah! Okay, and this one again. I can't believe I missed that. Fuck. Shadow Clone Jutsu. Got him. Just jump in a battle. Call mind. Normal, fl uh, normal flamethrower. I like to burn him at least once. There we go. This is the run. He's just agile style. That's different, isn't it? Agile style last time. Gets hit by the burn. Feel the burn, baby. Extra sensory. You know what? I'm just going for the overheat. F it. He's taking on Knuckles next turn either way. It's not going to KO unless we crit. But we'll take those odds. I'm bringing Crobat in because he's super quick. He healed his burn. Are you kidding me, bro? Who do you think you are? Let's bring in Itachi. Air Slizz Lash. Alright. So not bad. Pretty solid battle for us.
shit. Didn't expect him to do this move next. Again. I dodged I dodged it though, but I <laughs> didn't dodge that one. I got a little greedy. I need to stop getting greedy. Shit. Did it way too early. The audio is going crazy right now. Did we get him? I was I couldn't move. Let's go, baby. Whew, that one was tough. It took us almost an hour to get through. Well, in fairness, we did a bunch of stuff at the beginning as well. We did that Scyther outbreak. We did that Wurmple mission. So hast thou proven by thine actions to be or not to be. Much as that ancient hero once did, he and the Pokemon that walked beside him. Excuse me. To see such truths proven anew beyond the bonds, bounds of time and space bring the joy to me. I am glad that I chose thee to call to this world. As thou walkest onward upon thine own path. Upon thee and upon this creation watch thou now dwellest. I bestow my blessing. And I bestow upon thee a part of myself. I would walk this world together with thee. Show me how apparent in thine eyes. We received the legend plate. What the hell is a legend plate? A stone tablet imbued with the essence of all creation when used on a certain Pokemon. It allows that Pokemon to gain the power of every type there is. The fuck? That's pretty cool. I like how like our character like at, at no points like can I go back to my own time? <laughs> She's like, no, nah, I'm cool. We're chilling. It's snowing. So we got ourselves Arceus. <laughs> Look at the mission there. Oh, my face is in the way. Hold on. <laughs> you can't see it all because it's not well okay well you had to pause it there for a second but it was the Wurmple description but it was called the defiled Pokemon so it was supposed to be the Arceus mission but it was like <laughs> show so, so and so <laughs> a cast form or silken or whatever alright anywho we have done it guys we have gotten the Arceus however oh that's all we have to do for us okay so we're done with the, with the Pokedex then Alright, well, let's, uh, let's go back to camp. I don't know if we'll get a cutscene or not, but the most exciting part probably is the fact that we're going to be able to get our shiny charm. Oh, yeah, all those scythers. <laughs> Very excited about this shiny charm, guys. Oh, ho, it seems you've made some new observations. Let's have a look. Mm -hmm, most illuminating. Scyther, and then of course, most importantly, Big Daddy Arceus, who weighs 704 pounds. My god. What a monster. Could it be? We we finally did it. At long last, the Pokedex is well and truly complete. I've been dreaming of this moment ever since I started studying Pokemon. I don't believe it. Uh oh. I don't believe I'll ever make, be able to thank you enough for making my dream a reality. For now, though, we have an announcement to make. I'm sure everyone will be overjoyed to hear of the Pokedex's completion. Do let me know when you're ready, my girl. I'll be waiting for you in my laboratory. So, what would you like to do now? Let's go back to the village, please. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but not only am I going to do, you know, perfect everything in the Pokedex, right? I kind of want to get the shiny decks. I kind of want to get all the shiny Pokemon in the game as well. Now, with the shiny charm and perfecting like all the Pokédexes, it shouldn't be that hard to do. Time-consuming, yes, but difficulty, I don't think it will be uh, difficult at all. All those space distortion Pokémon can be kind of tough, aren't they? A magma box, sure, is it just going to be a magmaizer? Yeah. Magma Prizer! Alright, so where were we supposed to go? <laughs> to his laboratory, that's right. 
Ah, you're here smashing. I'll crack on with the big announcement then, shall I? Um, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for gathering here at my behest. We have some rather special news to share, so please lend us your ears if you'd be so kind. Today marks the fulfillment of a long-held dream of mine, and the fruition of the most earnest efforts of the entire Survey Corps. Yes, indeed, for you see the Pokedex, our corpse Magma Opius, <laughs> Opius, Opus, is finally, at long last, complete! Is this true? This fantastic achievement wouldn't have been possible if it had not been the hard work f No, the heroic efforts of our very own Kanan. We are now going to name this region at- no, I'm kidding. From her quelling of the frenzied Lord Cleaver, all the way to her battles against Dialga and Palkia atop mighty Mount Coronet. She tirelessly surveyed the Pokémon of this land while facing perils of the sort that would send most of us running for the hills. All this led to her accomplishing what can only be described as remarkable triumph of human effort, the completion of a Pokédex. How come they don't do this for every game? You know, we normally just get like a little certificate, right? And be on our way. This, she's, a, you know, the professor's announcing it to everyone. Everyone's like, oh my god, this is amazing. This is the best thing anyone's ever done ever. The greatest thing since sliced bread. And the person to the right's like, wait, what's, what's sliced bread? I don't understand what that is. You know, everything's going so well. I, I wish they would do this for every game. They should make it seem like a big deal that you could put. Because the Pokedex takes a lot of time. And I know not whether your actions were motivated by your own curiosity or a genuine desire to help the people of our village, but it doesn't matter. You have been a great asset to us, and I'm truly grateful for everything you've done. Perhaps I should also study under the professor so I might learn more about Pokemon. Selene is quite capable of handling the duties of commander, I'm sure. Hmm. Commendable work. In recognition of your effort, I present with you the shiny charm. And there you have it. Tonight's potato mochi are my treat. I'll make them extra tasty. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about, baby. In celebration of Kanan and the Survey Corps' great achievement, everybody feasted and danced till dawn lightened in the skies. Hell yeah, I'm a hell of a dancer. So we're, we're out here just busting moves, eating some potatoes. That's the life, man. The next day. It's our boy, Ray. What a party yesterday was, right, Kanan? We can't relax just yet. The Pokedex may be complete, but think of how many mysteries Pokemon still hold. The Survey Corps works goes on. Let's keep at it. And there you have it, guys. We officially finished the entire series. She has some new styles in stock. Let's see if, if we can uh, quickly see what those might be. They might just be like variants of the uh, festival outfits or something. Probably nothing too exciting. Is this hat different? It might be different. This might be new. Oh, it's the Lucario guy's hat. Whatever his name was. That's cool. I like it a lot, actually. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Snow jacket, festival top. Snow jacket, of course. Fancy kimono. Do we get a new one of these? I don't think we did. You think you you would think that we would get one for uh, Arceus? Which is kind of crazy that we don't. Oh, we probably got one for Samurott. That actually looks really nice. The bandit. I do like the bandit outfit as well. Well, guys, that's going to be it for today's episode and the end of our series for now. Um, if they do make some DLC of this game, or it's even just add new Pokemon to the game. Well, if they just add new Pokemon, I probably won't do anything on it. But if they do add some sort of DLC, whether it be new missions, legendaries, whatever, something exciting enough for me to, to make a new series out of it, I'll 100% do that. So expect that if that ever happens. Um, even if it's like paid DLC, I have no problem buying uh, DLC, especially for a game like this. This game has been incredible. Um, as I've shown you guys at the beginning of the episode, I mean, look at this. 126 hours. This game has been out... Let's see, today's, it's technically uh, February 9th because it's past midnight, but February 8th, let's say, right? This game came, I can't remember what, what when this game came out. Oh, uh, man, this game came out, I'll have to look it up. It was like a week ago, right? Was it last Friday or was it the Friday before last? Pokemon Legends Arceus release date. The 20th of January, so yeah... 
Um, not even two weeks. This game hasn't even been out for two weeks yet. I'm at 126 hours. Pokedex complete. Um, shiny charm in hand. We've level 10 everything in the Pokedex at minimum. Obviously, some things are level 10. Not level 10, but perfect. Um, and I plan on doing everything perfect. And like I said, um, at this point, I guess I would make a cut. And I would say if I, I would show you guys if I completed it or not, or some sort of progress. Or maybe I forget. You know, two months from now is a long time. Um, so I may forget. But just know that I am working on this Pokedex. I'm going to perfect everything. This game has been incredible. I cannot wait to see what they do um, going forward. If they can, I'm sure. I'm sure with the success of this game, and it's been remotely positive. Like every, like everything on social media that I've seen about this game has been mostly positive. Like 99.9 percent of the people are really enjoying this game I have, a, I have a friend of mine who doesn't really care for it as much um, which blows me away it really blows me away that he doesn't care so much about it um, he's, he's only part of the way through in the game though I don't know if he'll like it more if he progresses further in the game when things get a little more difficult um, where he's gonna have to maybe incorporate a little bit more strategy to catch some Pokemon because right now he just he calls it a, a Pokemon catcher simulator and that's maybe a fair criticism um, but one thing that I enjoy, some, like what Pokemon are doing lately, it seems like, is they're kind of focusing on like one aspect of like a mechanic in the game, and then just making a game like surrounding that. And it's such a great idea. For example, Pokemon Snap, you know, the aspect of you know taking pictures of Pokemon. Uh, Pokemon Legends, this is focused on the catching of Pokemon. I would imagine at some point, maybe even next year, we'll get one based on battling. Um, People always wanted a Pokemon Stadium 3. I think that'd be an incredible um, game for them to release at some point. Like a Pokemon Stadium 3. We can call it something different. But a way to kind of just battle online with other people. Use your Pokemon from Pokemon Home. Um, maybe even use rental Pokemon if that's an option like in the you know Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2. I think that'd be great. I think people would be excited for something like that. Because uh, I know that th there's a certain demographic of people that don't like this game as much. And it's probably the competitive battlers, you know. And I get it, because you can't battle the people in this game. They don't have natures. Uh, you can't use health items. So big aspects from the competitive side of things don't exist in this game. But this isn't a game meant to be that, right? They just released Diamond and Pearl just months ago. You know, that has the online battle. That has all the ability. It has everything that the competitive Pokemon players would like, right? So... I'm perfectly fine with a game like this where it's completely different, or Pokemon Snap, which I also enjoyed. Uh, funny enough, hopefully by the time you see this video, I start uploading my Pokemon Snap videos from last year. Um, I've just been waiting to finish Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, and we're pretty damn close to finishing it where I stand now, so hopefully it's done by now, by the time you see this. Uh, but I hope they do some more in the future. If I were to say, I'll leave off with this, because I'm, I'm rambling, I do this sometimes, especially when I'm ending a series completely, and I'm trying to talk about a game and like kind of give a little bit of a review of it, right? So, if I were to pick, if they were to do like a Pokemon Legends 2, right? Say in a couple years, because I don't think they'll do it next year, that's too quick. But, let's say a few years, right? 2025. Pokemon Legends 2. If I could pick like a, a, a legendary Pokemon or a region or something to kind of um, like revolve the game around, what would I pick? And I want you guys to answer this question too. Um, and I'm sure there's a lot of people theorizing right now what it could be or, you know, um, kind of creating these dream scenarios. Oh, that'd be great if we did this region or that region. So the next Pokemon game for them to remake is 5th Gen. Pokemon Black and White, Pokemon Black and White 2. Um, they're going to be re remaking those games at some point, I would imagine. Um, now, I'm not personally a huge fan of 5th Gen. I've mentioned this before. It's my least favorite generation of Pokemon games. And again, that might just be a me problem. Um, there's a lot of amazing Pokemon in 5th Gen. Um, you know, they really did a big risk with that game because they pretty much made every Pokemon in that game... Um, outside of post-game stuff, completely original new Pokemon. And it was something completely different. And that part wasn't what bothered me. I just, for, for whatever reason, and I think it was me at my point in my life, and I mentioned this many times, you know, I was going to college, I was working, I didn't have a whole lot of free time. Um, so I wasn't really enjoying things like video games as much, right? I was I had so much responsibilities. Um, not a whole lot of time to really sit down and actually engage and enjoy 
um, a video game. So I think if, if if life was different, then maybe I would really enjoy fifth gen. But as it stands now, it's my least favorite. Um, and there's nothing I could do about it. It's just it is what it is. Um, but I wouldn't be against them doing fifth gen Pokemon Legends. They could do a similar situation they did here, where they released um, the Gen 4 remakes in this game. What if they did the Gen 5 remakes three years from now, in like October, November, whatever holiday season, and then the following couple months they do a Legends uh, Pokemon? Who who would they wrote? Who would they revolve it around? Um, let me look at fifth Gen Legendaries real quick, because I can't think of who they are off the top of my head. I guess they could do like Kyrim. Is Kyrim 5th Gen? I think it is. Let me take a look. Okay, so you have the Justice Trio, which, eh. Reshiram, Zekrom, Victini. Hold on. I should have just went to, like, Cerebi or something. Do go to a trusted website, not, like, some bum-ass website that's... There's only shown like a, set, like a few different things. Alright, let me go to Gen 5. Unova. Okay, so you also have Genesect, Keldeo, Kyrum. Of course, you have the Genie Mods, which, are, are, which were also in this game. Honestly, not, a, not really a Pokemon in particular that I would choose. I guess maybe Genesect. Victini would be interesting. Kyrum is interesting because of the dynamic that you have with the DNA splicing and stuff too, I guess. So maybe Kyrim could be the Pokemon, but I don't know, Pokemon Legends Kyrim, does that sound like, no offense to people who love Kyrim, does that really sound like a, a money-making game? I don't know, maybe not. I'm thinking maybe Pokemon Legends Mew, that's what I want to see. That's the one that I would pick. Pokemon Legends, yeah, Gen 1 or, you know, whatever, right? But it's got nothing to do with that particular, I just think that Mew's such an interesting Pokemon, and we can kind of see its origins, and what leads to, like, you know, the creations of Pokemon, and I think it could be kind of interesting. Um, obviously Kanto would probably be the region, and maybe it's not as exciting, because there's probably not as many places to explore like this game in particular. Um, but you can also include the Sevi Islands, right? That's something that I've, I've, uh, I haven't seen people really discuss when talking about including Kanto as the next Legends game. Um, but Kanto would make a lot of sense, there's a lot to explore, a lot of lore, um, I think that could be a lot of fun, that'd be my choice. Or, on the flip side... Pokemon Legends Celebi, you can still do time stuff, because you don't have to do time stuff with this, but you can. Um, obviously, Celebi is also another time-traveling Pokemon. Um, you can kind of go the same route in that regard. And then Johto, and then maybe even add Kanto. You can do both, you know, because in those gold and silver games, Crystal, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, you can go to uh, Johto and Kanto. So that would be really cool. But anyways, guys, I've rambled long enough. I'm speaking 50 miles an hour now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this game as much as I am, or if you're done playing it by now, if you, hopefully you enjoyed it as much as you possibly could. Hopefully you enjoyed this series, and hopefully you enjoyed some of the other content on the channel. At this point in time, I don't know what's on the, on the channel, <laughs> because it's too much in the future. Or, or this is too much in the past, but too much in the future, I don't know what I'll be playing. I assume Mystery Dungeon's done. I'm assuming Pokemon Snap's still going up, so check that out. Uh, I assume... That Digimon's still going. I assume that Mario Galaxy's over, and instead I'm doing Fire Emblem uh, every day. Uh, three Houses, because we got to do multiple playthroughs of that game. So if you like Fire Emblem, if you like Fire Emblem Three Houses, check it out. That game's amazing. There's so much to do in that game. And if I, I just finished playing through the game for the first time um, recently. Obviously, again, months ago, if you're watching, you know, from when you're watching this. Um, and now we're just starting our second playthrough of it, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Because uh, there's three different stories, and I, I, don't, I think there's only three different stories. There might be like alternate um, plots, depending on like, some of the decisions you make. I actually don't know that. I've been trying to stay spoiler-free in certain regards. Um, but uh, yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, I'm the Mevermore Daniels. Bidding you farewell, peace, and one love. Bang!